Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this new video. So we have already covered with the two videos of module two of the subject VLSI design and testing. Okay. So the second module is uh, the name is MOS transistor theory and we have done with the introduction part and we have seen the differences between NMOS and PMOS transistors. Okay. So now we are going to discuss with the some of the other concepts related to the terminal voltages. Okay. The terminal voltages uh, in the terminal voltages the mode of operation depends on three basic terminal voltages that is VG that is the gate voltage VD that is the drain voltage and VS that is the source voltage okay so here VGS VGD and VDS these are the uh, uh, gate to source voltages that is in between gate and source terminals that is VGS voltage okay due to this VGS voltage a proper amount of voltage would be traveling between all the three terminals okay due to this VGS VGD and VDS voltages so the, there are relations given by this VGS is equal to VG minus VS VGD is equal to VG minus VD and VDS is equal to VD minus VS so source and drain are symmetric diffusion terminals so basically there are three regions of operation when we have three terminal different terminal voltages okay so these three regions of operations are cutoff region linear region and saturation region so in these three regions of operations what are the different relations between vgs vgd and vds in three different regions of operations we are going to discuss now and also accord also with that we have one more kind of voltage that is called as VT okay that is threshold voltage okay so this threshold voltage also plays a vital role what this threshold voltage does is it provides the extra voltage required for the uh, enhancement purpose of the transistor okay due to this threshold voltage only the voltage supply between the cutoff linear and saturation region would be in balance and the current would be independent to that of voltage okay so that thresh threshold voltage in this case plays a very vital role so now let us see one by one first is NMOS cutoff okay in NMOS cutoff when the NMOS transistor this is a simple NMOS transistor where we have p-tap substrate and n plus n plus source gate and drain NMOS transistor in cutoff region when when the NMOS is in cutoff state the channel won't be formed there would be no channel and the drain to source current that is IDS would be similarly equal to zero since VGS equal to zero and IDS is tending towards zero so that we could be saying that there is no interconnection between uh, source gate and drain individual voltage supplies would be provided between all the three terminals okay okay the, the, the it would be dependent on one another it won't be current won't be independent of one another okay so this was about cutoff next we have NMOS linear okay in NMOS linear what would be having is the channel would be formed okay between all the source gate and drain so when the channel is formed the VGS voltage in the, in the in the cutoff state it was equal to zero but when the channel is formed the VGS voltage is greater than the threshold voltage VT okay the threshold voltage would be coming into the picture in the case of linear as well as saturation region in VGS is greater than VT in case of NMOS linear and VDS that is drain to source voltage is less than VGS minus VT okay so these two relations you should be knowing very thoroughly with respect to the NMOS transistor in the linear region okay one more difference is that current flows from drain to source okay from drain to source the current would be flowing the current direction is like this okay then it IDS increases with the increase in the VDS voltage okay and so on so one more is NMOS in saturation region okay uh, when the NMOS is in saturation region the relation is opposite to that of NMOS in linear region that is VGS would be less than VT also VDS would be greater than VGS minus VT okay so these two relations you should be keeping in mind when the NMOS is in saturation region channel pinches off the channel pinches off means uh, that uh, when the channel is uh, turned on continuously the sudden change in the channel with respect to the off state is called as pinching off okay so that is called as channel would be pinching off next IDS is independent to that of VDS okay IDS is independent then we say that current saturates in case of a saturation region then it is similar to that of the current source okay so this was about the three regions of operation linear cutoff and saturation in in case of NMOS transistor 
See, similarly opposite that is nothing much only the relations which I have written just vice versa is that for the PMOS okay so that's why I have not written this in detail for PMOS whatever the relation is for NMOS its reverse is for PMOS okay for example in cutoff it remains the same no channel VGS is equal to zero but in case of linear region in linearity what we had for linear in NMOS we had VGS greater than VT but here it is VGS is less than VT and we had VDS less than VGS minus VT in case of NMOS here it is greater than same goes with saturation okay VGS is greater than VT so yeah this was about NMOS and PMOS uh, in the linear saturation and cutoff regions okay so now we have one more important concept that is related to the body effect okay uh, I have taken one simple example of an uh, inverter not not basically inverter but this here uh, here we have taken two NMOS transistors in series just to see the body effect okay for for NMOS I would say the body effect and also for PMOS also I would say the body effect what it would be happening okay so in case of NMOS the body effect for NMOS is uh, from the body terminal the NMOS is given to the ground terminal okay so this is one uh, this is not inwards this is outwards okay the body terminal for NMOS it is given directly to ground whereas for PMOS the body terminal is given directly to the VGD that is one uh, effect body effect in case of transistors that is for NMOS as well as PMOS okay simply I would write in one symbol here see here this is of NMOS transistor right so here the body terminal would be going towards the ground whereas in PMOS the body terminal would be connected to the VDD part okay so this is VDD so this is ground if you consider one single transistor okay so this is the simple body effect for in case of NMOS as well as PMOS transistor okay the body terminal in case of NMOS is given to ground whereas in case of, uh, in case of PMOS it is given to the VDD part okay it would be acting as logic 0 or 1 simultaneously with respect to the inputs provided okay so in case of this is in case of NMOS what they have considered here is they have considered two NMOS transistors in series okay so that's why the differential voltage between the source and transistor terminal is zero it contains zero potential okay yeah so the next concept we are going to discuss is CMOS inverter DC characteristics okay so this is a very important question fixed they would be asking this for uh, 10 marks because we have a lot of diagrams to be done and the equations for different regions of operation in the characteristic plot of an inverter DC characteristic that also we are going to discuss in this complete part okay so let us see that now okay CMOS inverter DC characteristics